Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, February 15th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, and as you can see, on Friday, we did rally all the way up towards the 50 moving average and then we broke down quite aggressively we are down roughly 0 0.26 percent and at this point if we take out these previous lows from thursday then we're heading all the way down to these previous lows and that is probably as far as this will go in the short run so a drop towards 1258 that is most likely what is going to happen if we take out these previous lows and the reason why i say that is because uh, we are getting fairly low here in the RSI. We're also getting very uh, close to the bottom of the bullish band, and usually that offers a lot of uh, resistance when we get to that level. We could also just uh, break down towards these uh, lows and then rally back up towards the 20 exponential moving average. We have been breaking down quite for a very long time now, and uh, roughly 1.7%. For the last three two and a half weeks and after that usually you have a rally so we did rally up towards the 50 that was very resistant but uh, i don't see this breaking down significantly because that means that we'll get an rsi that is in single digits and i just don't see that going to happen furthermore you can see the stochastic is turning around here indicating that we may see this rally even further to the upside but uh, MACD is still bullish and the R no, bearish and the uh, CCI is also bearish and the RSI is also momentum is to the downside. At this point, if we uh, rally towards the 50 moving average and that is again resistant, then yes, that is possible to sell it there. I would not be a buyer in this um, currency in any case whatsoever. We have been breaking down ever since March last year. And every single rally is basically at this point um, a selling opportunity. And at this point, 50 moving average at 12, 16, 76 is um, the, basically the top of this market at this point. So let's look at the euro, US dollar. As you can see, we found major resistance here at the 50 moving average. We can put a line right here. So 1, uh, 12, uh, 16, uh, 38. That is as far as this market, um, this currency pair was willing to go at this point. We did break down underneath the 20 exponential uh, towards uh, 120.89, and then we rallied again and are just above the 40 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are kind of all over the place. We have the MACD, uh, the stochastic turning around here, indicating bullish momentum. We have the CCI is flat, the RSI is bullish. And the MACD is bullish at this point. So if you look at the Bollinger Band, we ran into resistance here. At, we fell below the bottom of uh, the middle of the Bollinger Band and then rallied and now we're just right above it. So what I think is going to happen here is that we may see another run towards the 100 moving average at 12.03 or towards the 150 at 11.95. If we break above the 50 moving average, then we're targeting these previous highs here at 12 at 35. But these second indicators, they're technically all over the place at the moment. So it's probably better to just wait and see what basically happens in this market before entering. But a pullback towards 150, that is a major buying opportunity. And a break above the 50 moving average, that is also an indication that we are about to go higher. So let's look at the US dollar yen. And as you can see, we did rally up towards the 200 moving average, and then we found a resistance there. Technical indicators turned around quite aggressively here at the 40 exponential moving average. And the question is whether or not this is, we are basically starting to trend uh, upwards because we are making lower highs. So we have here, here, and here. So we have one level there, we have another level there and we have another one here and we can just get rid of these downward trend lines and that one because i don't think those are going to be relevant anymore 
So we are doing lower highs and that could mean that we, if we break about the 200 moving average here, we'll go towards 300 and then pull back and then make another uh, lower high. And after that, we could actually break about the 300 moving average and start trending upwards. Momentum is to the upside, uh, more or less. Stochastic is turning around here. Uh, CCI is flat, the uh, RSI is flat, and the MACD is slowly turning around to the upside. MACD, we've rallied, we pull back towards the middle of the bull in Japan, and then we rallied. So the next significant um, resistance is at 105, 864, and that is just at the 300 moving average. You see the Bollinger Band here, that is right at the 300 moving average, where this will most likely rally to and then pull back and then probably take out the 300 moving average. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. This was rallying mainly entire week until we got towards this level here, which is at 0, 77, 77, 6. Um, and uh, we broke down towards the 20, 20 exponential moving average and then rallied again. So this 20, 50, and 40 are now acting as a resistant. They are no longer acting as support, no longer acting as resistant, and therefore a pullback towards these uh, moving averages are buying opportunities um, at this current stage. Long term, I think we are going towards 0.80, uh, but that will probably take uh, several weeks at this at this stage but pullbacks towards the 20 exponential the stop loss underneath here um, long-term target of 0.8 we are getting fairly close to the top of the bullish band as well so we may see this rally uh, third or a monday session and then break down towards the 20. technical indicators are very bullish at this point but we are overbought here in the rsi we are at 71 so pullbacks are expecting at this point so let's look at the Great British Pound US dollar. This has rallied significantly on Friday and also the entire week. We didn't pull back a little bit on, on Thursday um, because we got fairly outside here of the bull in Japan. We're also on the edge of being overbought, but um, this rally here just was too much and therefore we had to pull back. But on Friday, we rallied yet again and now we're again outside of the bull in Japan. So at this point, I don't really see this going further from uh, from uh, 1387. I think that we're going to see a, a fairly big pullback at some stage in the next week towards the 20 exponential or even the 40 or the 50 uh, moving average. And that's a drop of roughly 1.3%. So we may see the US dollar appreciate and that will work against the US dollar, uh, the Great British Pound US dollar uh, pair and this will be pushed towards um, this lower level here. But if you look at how this has trended the last few months, those pullbacks are major buying opportunities. So this is the Brexit negotiation where it fell quite aggressively twice, and this is how it has been behaving the last month or two. So pullbacks towards the 50 are at this point major buying opportunities. We are very overstretched here, so it is very likely that we'll go towards the 20 uh, moving average here in the middle of the Bollinger Band or to the very bottom, which is at this point around the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are fairly bullish at this point, but we're on the edge of being overbought. So pullbacks are buying opportunities, so that's what I'm going to look for. So I hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.